So if we really compare the viruses that are currently circulating with the original virus that was sequenced back in um, December from Wuhan, we have hundreds of those mutations that have occurred across the whole genome of this uh, particular virus. But those mutations are relatively little or no impact having on to the vi uh, virus pathobiology, on the disease severity, on to the transmission or on the vaccine effectiveness. But one thing that I would like to highlight is that the spike protein, which is on the top of the surface, any mutations come into this uh, spike protein is of concerns because this spike protein is very important for the effectiveness of the vaccine. So as, as the mutation come, um, since I sit into the WHO expert panel, we do look on to those mutations and their possible impact onto the vaccine effectiveness. So as more and more data would become available, we will be in the position to identify whether this particular mutation would have any impact onto transmission or vaccine effectiveness. But as it stands now, based on our computer analysis, that is not the case. So when, when we say about the vaccine, uh, basically it takes the whole spike protein of the virus and incorporate into either a vector or the nanoparticle based on the mRNA based vaccine. So when that vaccine enter into our body, then immune responses start to come and the immune responses is not raised against uh, one or two sites within the spike protein, it raised against multiple sites. Um, uh, against the spike protein. So if one of the mutations occur in the spike protein, this one spelling mistake cannot make the whole vaccine ineffective. So say um, in the spike protein, there are 20 targets where the uh, immunity is raised against. If one mutate, we still have 19 targets to neutralize the virus. So therefore, few mutations cannot significantly impact onto the vaccine eff efficacy. It has to have a substantial changes. For example, out of 20, if 10 or 15 of those are mutated, then it would certainly have impact onto the vaccine. But this one mutation or few of the mutation that we have observed so far have literally no impact onto the vaccine efficacy.